Hello students. Today we'll solve one more problem from CSR NET 2021 June. And obviously this question is from nuclear physics. In that question, they have given that cesium-137 decay by beta emission and that half lifetime of this decay process is given 30.02 year. Okay. Also, they have given that one milligram cesium is prepared on 1st January 1980. Then activity of the sample on 1st January 2020 on, we have to calculate. Okay. So we'll calculate it by basic formula. So for this calculation, let us calculate that initial number of atom present in cesium. So we know 137 gram, sorry, gram cesium has 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 number of nuclei, right? Then on gram cesium will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 137 number of nuclei, right? Then on milligram cesium, this will be milligram in milligram, on milligram cesium will have how many number of nuclei? That will be 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 137. This multiplication 10 to the power minus 3 because of 1 milligram. Okay. So this is basically a naught. Okay. Now we know from basic uh, formula of radioactive decay that number of atom present in the system after time t will be nothing but n naught exponential lambda t. Okay, and lambda is the disintegration constant and it has relation with half lifetime, right? Lambda is nothing but point. 693 divided by t half. Okay. So now we'll apply that activity formula. Activity of a sample is nothing but as a function of time, definitely, and it will be nothing but n lambda. Okay. And n is nothing but this fellow, n naught. lambda exponential minus lambda t. Okay. Now we'll substitute that n naught and lambda as a function of t half. Okay. So if you substitute it, so if you substitute it, a will be n naught was how much? it will be 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 137. And lambda you will have, lambda will be 0 0.693 into, sorry, divided by T half. T half was like half time time was 30. Point 08 hours. So if you convert it into second, 
you have to multiply it with 365 into 24. So if you multiply it with 365, 365, it will convert into day. Now, from day, you have to convert into seconds. So it will be multiplied by 24 into 3600. Then you have another that exponential lambda t minus lambda t, right? So exponential minus lambda t. Lambda is 0.693 divided by t half. T half was 30.08, right? And you have that t, right? So that sample was prepared in 1st January 1980, and the activity is measuring in on 1st January 2021. So that time will be how many years? That will be 41 years. So I'm keeping that that unit in years, and that will be definitely in year to cancel it, right? 41. So if you calculate it, so that number is I'm again repeating. 6.023 into 10 to the power 23, then you have 10 to the power minus 3, then divide by 137, okay? Then again multiplied by 0.693 divided by 30.08 into 365 into 24 into 3600 into exponential minus 0.693 divided by 30.8 into 41. So if you calculate it, you will get 1.24 into 10 to the power 9 dk per second per second okay so very nice question please try to solve it thank you